Alright, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. I've got a nice Smith Corona Electric from the mid-60s here. We're going to do a few things to it. I've already done a few things to it. This young girl bought this at a flea market. And it was a disaster, but I'm working on it. Clean the case, so this is clean lid. I've got a video in my description that I did earlier how to clean these. Also came in with the cord like this. And this is the way this cord looks. This is just a disaster. And it didn't short out, it actually plugged in. So I have replaced the cord and see how brittle it is. It just breaks when you bend it. Oh well. The cord's been replaced with a nice long black one with a you know solid end. I've got, also got a video how to replace those cords. They're pretty pretty easy. It goes right in here into the motor assembly. This one also most of these links were off right down here the type bar links off and bent I've also got a video I'll post in the description how to fix those but that's already been done so it's already got a cord it's already got the links fixed I replaced one of these belts over here that back one has not only does it have that bend to it you know it's got cracks in it, so we decided to better replace it before it snaps. So it's got belt, cord, all the links are fixed. But the main thing now we're going to look at, of course, I've done this on other typewriters and videos, is this segment is so gummed up here, it's so bad. These keys are just sticking crazy which ones are sticking here they're gummed up pretty pretty bad like that one let's see that one there so I think they sprayed oil down in here flush that oil out and we're going to clean the typefaces so it's kind of all the same process I've done this before in a couple videos but we're going to do it on this nice electric machine and the first thing I'm going to do is remove this platen roller pull the little gizmo over here this has a release right here and the roller will come out and I want to remove this pan. Now that I feel this. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Let's see if this pan has a screw on the end. Yeah, sure enough. So when they're, if they've never been removed, they've got a little screw right here that you've got to take off. The more uh, later versions, they eliminated the screw. need it. The pan stays in place as it is. Sometimes there's a screw on this side too, so let's take a look and see if there's a screw on that side. Nope, it's just a stud right there, so this should come out of here. It's kind of tricky to get this out with the uh, ratchet in here, but it can be done. Let's see if we can do it here. So just flex this up, up and out, up and out. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. Really. Sometimes pretty stubborn uh there it goes. So 
So you got to get that pin manipulated underneath the ratchet. It's uh, even a little trickier to put back in. So, since I am going to be using black at center, it doesn't hurt too much up here except this back panel, which I'm going to cover up with some tape. Because I don't want that to get anything on it. And uh, a simple way to protect these up here is uh, some oil. Some oil in there. We'll be cleaning that off later anyhow. And uh, that's going to protect that. And of course, the keyboard's going to get a rag over it like this. Guard this nice little pink space bar. Pretty cool. This is a nice, well, it's going to be a nice typewriter. It definitely could use some help. Okay, so let's uh, let's just get this type bar, typefaces clean right off the bat here. And that's going to be a pretty straightforward process here. Let me put that thing in shift mode. Shouldn't take but a couple of minutes to get the typefaces clean. This. Let's take about three passes with the lacquer in the, and then we're going to go down here and tack that segment, let that soak in there while we're doing this. Like this whole thing needs to be. Initially here, let's do this type of segment one more time. We'll hit that with the air next time around. So those are all those are all nice and shiny now. Didn't take much to to get those a little bit of, a little bit of black in there. Let's see. We'll do some spot cleaning there. Maybe here. Let's see if I can see in here. The R's got a little notch in it right there. That's about it. Do that one more time. That's what she said. Alright, let's do that one more time. We'll hit it with some air. So this is going to start with the uh, brush here. I'm just going to start at the top here. Work my way down a little bit. Get in here to the mainspring. That's all. Coming up in there too. So we're just going to clean this whole basket assembly. Flush 
pushing on down. looking better. Back here. Working that main spring, I still see stuff on that. And like I said, it's starting to look good. Okay. Do this again. Kind of like doing the hair. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. As needed. Okay. Majority of stuff is out of here. It's kind of hard to flip all these bars up. They they don't move up. The electric ones you can't grab these and move these up. You have to turn th this as if it's on, and you have to press the button to make it go up. So if you want to make them all go up, you can turn this, hit them all, and they'll all go up. See that? Bing. They all move a little bit. Of course it won't, can't handle all that, but, so you can do a bunch like that in bunches. So we'll do some of these over here, we'll do some of these over here, like that, we'll do the rest there, and we'll do those, right there, and maybe here in the middle, Let's see if we can get some more of these done. Looks like that's going to do it. I think that's how these get bent. See, I just grabbed that one, and it's flexing the arm down there. So that's how these... I think that's how these get bent. When you grab this, you'll see that flex down there. I think that's how those get bent. And out of place, but... Heck, I'm not sure. I just wanted to get down beneath here a little bit. Get some air blown through the bottom section. That's good enough. And one more time in the hair. Fresh. Okay, I'm gonna really hit this hard now. Shift, make it go down. And I'm going to take my go to chemical again. 401. 401B. Good stuff. I'm just going to hit it lightly. Doesn't take much. Goes a long ways. Hit all these tight bars. that. Do the type segment like that. I'm trying to brush it all. And it gets a little bubbly. Even. I'm going to hit that mainspring back there. Get behind here like that. Okay. I don't want to nail it with the air. Good. 
how dirty these uh, ribbon spools are too. I mean, I'm gonna get to this, get this all cleaned up. But look at that, that gunk. I'll do that. Do that later. I wanted to just tackle this stuff. Okay, we're gonna turn this on and try it. Ugh. Let me plug this thing in. Plug into the power. Okay, motor's on. I'll show you a little hack trick on these electric machines. They got an on off switch right here, but they also have a safety switch right here. Right there. So when the lid's closed, it closes the safety switch right here. Like that. That affects the on off right here. So on, you open the lid, it's off. If you want to work on this, and you want the switch engaged, all you got to do is bend this piece underneath this rail. So push it down, bend it in, and it stays underneath the rail. You can bend it back real easy. So now it's on. we got power. And uh, let's run this guy. I bet you these all work. Oh, they're not all working. Yeah, that one was sticking still to six. Ooh. Oh, this is this is binding on the linkage down here, I think. Let's take a look. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with this. Quick. So, yeah, this is bent over. And it's got to go that way. A little bit. That'll probably do it. Let's take a look. That was the F. Okay. Oh, look at that one. That one's, that one's just sticky, I think. I don't think it's binding. Yeah. Okay, well, I bet you it's sticky up here. Right there, see that little corrosion? Bet you it's sticking at that pivot. Okay, let's try it again, let's see. That was a G. And it's already already happier but I think I'm gonna nail it here and we're gonna flip this up and see Let's see which pivot this was up here it was right there in fact I'm gonna hit this whole rack it was like a thinner this whole rack right here let's just let's just do the whole rack this whole thing like that just soaking look at the gunk coming out of there oh this is going to be so happy when it's done look at that all right let's hit the air on that and hit it again Now I'm going to go back down here and run the tight bars again. On. That one, is that F sticking again? It's definitely binding on the the one next to it. That was a D. Let's take a look at that again real quick. Now it's definitely just catching right here. this up 
up here in this portion. Still feels like it's kitchen. It's because it is. that a little closer I think it's gonna work now but I hope it's still still hanging up on the letter next to it all right guys what's your trouble what's your malfunction this one's also hanging up I need to run this segment so I can. I want to do one more thing to this uh, rack here. I want to hit it with these lubricant and uh, with the air again. I'm going to run it. I wish that D would work. Okay, so this cleaning process is done. I'm gonna turn this off. And remove my, my absorber towel here, and uh, we're gonna look at this D a little more. That's definitely binding under here. working now. So letter D, you turn this manually and you can turn it up like that right there. So now it's up. I'm gonna hold it and flip this up. Oops, yeah, my finger's stuck. Let's see what's happening down here. Let's see if we can see in here. It's a tough to see what's happening here, but huh. Okay. In here somewhere. All right, it just needs to be formed over a little bit to, to the letter next to it. Okay, I'm going to do that off, off camera. But, how much better this segment looks now. Not only looks better, it is better. Yeah, that's gonna be acceptable all right so that's that process still got a few things to do here Remove this uh, tape here a few more things and we'll be uh, we'll be done with this more cleaning process and I got to get in here to the keyboard and clean this stuff out I don't know if you can see this. 
You know that hair down in there. It's just a mess. So we're gonna blow that out and then clean it. Really good. And bring this guy back to life. Electric Smith Corona. Nice. Alright, Phoenix, I've had a good day.